In the field of water science, we often talk about the potential of things. For example, pH stands for the potential of hydrogen and ORP stands for oxidation reduction potential. But in this video, I'm going to cover something entirely new. The potential for liquid intelligence and the fluid link between the natural, extraterrestrial and spirit worlds. Our planet is full of mysteries and water is certainly one of them. It seeded the earth from asteroids, making it an alien substance. It has over 66 anomalous properties. It won't conform to the laws of physics or gravity, and it's the main thing we look for in our search for life on other planets. My name is Vader Austin. I'm a water researcher from New Zealand, specialising in crystallography which is basically taking photos of frozen water and recording the patterns and images I see in the ice. Over time, I developed a specific macroscopic technique that allows me to view water in an entirely new way, revealing some extremely strange and intriguing things. The first photo I ever took was of a crystallized thought. I had literally thought of my hand prior to putting the sample into the freezer. This X-ray-like image appeared in the ice, taking up half the petri dish. I now have a body of over 10,000 photos, proving water's incredible ability to respond in complex artistic form. But here's where it gets even more interesting. I've asked water some pretty profound questions and received answers that demand attention. For example, I verbally asked the water to show me what life on another planet looked like pre-freezing, and this is the result. It reminds me of a scene from Star Wars. I decided to get specific about a planet, so I said, show me what Mars looks like. This result looks very much like this comparison photo of Mars. I asked if the water could show me something on Earth that was inspired by aliens. And I got this fascinating image. It reminds me a lot of the picture I've added for comparison of a Mayan pyramid temple in Guatemala. It's interesting to note that archaeologists found figurines termed as alien astronauts at that site. I asked the same question a year later and I got this response in the ice. Another pyramid. Only this one is similar to the Pyramid of Giza. Even though the question leaves much open for interpretation, it is clear that water is guiding us in a very specific direction. As a side note, but sticking to pyramids and water, there is a little island in New Zealand called Pyramid Island due to its shape, and it's reported that all the sick or hurt fish and marine animals live around or under it to heal. It is said that pyramids have certain powers but were they really inspired by aliens? Keeping the inquiry going, I used the word alien as an influence for a repeated study. In this first ice photo, you can see how similar it looks to the crystal skull in the comparison photo, reminiscent of an Indiana Jones movie. The second image is quite different, but still has an elongated skull. I find it similar to the Egyptian hieroglyph I've compared it with. Lastly, this is another long skull pointing in the same direction as the others, loosely resembling what some people call greys. Could it be that water is showing us what it has experienced throughout its life cycles on Earth, or is it revealing ancient memories from other planets or solar systems? What can it tell us about life after death? I went ahead and asked a series of thought-provoking questions, beginning with, what is your earliest memory? And this is the response in the ice. Which is really weird to me, as I had some kind of expectation that I would see a universe or something of that nature. Certainly not a face. I'll repeat this test in the near future. My mother died in 1999, so I asked, can you connect to my mum? What's so beautiful about this ice response is that years ago I lived in Japan, before the days of emails, and my mother and I would write to each other regularly. 
At the end of every letter, she would draw a circle with a heart inside. Only mum's circles were never very round and often looked more like misshapen rotis. So when I saw this image, it really was like mum had communicated with me through the ethers. In a similar test, I asked the water if it could connect to my friend's dad, who had recently passed away. And this is the result. What is so interesting is that the water pre-freezing had evaporated extremely quickly, leaving only a very thin layer to freeze, as if spirit somehow used the water as an energy source. Perhaps the soul leaves the body as some kind of vibration or vapour, likely another stage of water we've yet to discover, explaining the floating rising feeling that people talk about that have had near-death experiences. So I asked water, do you see spirits? This response is very interesting because although the face looks quite watery, in actual fact it was ice with a fluid look. It was an unusual thing to observe because it visually didn't make sense. So what are these images telling us? I'll leave you with this to ponder over. If water responds to our thoughts and feelings, as well as its external environment, is it alive? If it updates itself after receiving new information, is it intelligent? And if it can communicate with us, is it conscious and coherent? Is it possible that water could be a collective universal web of highly advanced consciousness, that is infinitely more sophisticated than any computer system on the planet? Is it a fluid lens that sees without eyes, records without a brain, and feels without a heart? What if water is expressing its consciousness through us and through all life? Could it be the very cornerstone of life after death, or is it simply a drink? You may find some answers in my latest book, The Secret Intelligence of Water.